Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa for those of you who don't know me. Uh, excuse my chin, I keep freaking messing with the scab. Any case, um, yeah, I, the camera's also a bit lower, so, um, you know, I'm not gonna hold a freaking phone the whole time, and the my tripod is just kind of, like, occupied at the moment. <laughs> But I think this angle is actually pretty good for the point uh, I'm going to try to make in this video. Today I want to talk about something that I never in my whole life thought I would be talking about on the internet or at all or to anyone, frankly. But it's just recently I just had, I, I'm trying to become more healthier in every aspect of the way, mentally especially. So I want to talk a little bit about a problem, and it's just a really big problem in the whole world actually right now, and it, it pisses me off a little because it's so trivial. O over all the actual problems in the world, this is the one that's the most prevalent, the mo one that's the most concerning to people apparently. And what is this problem, you may ask? Well, fat phobia, of course. <laughs> of course. Like, I, I'm a bit on the plus side uh, of things. And this is mostly due to our hormonal difference. Um, if you're actually interested in that, you can go check out my YouTube. Um, I made a video about my bad IUD experience and one about uh, my tubal ligation procedure. Where I talked about how hormonal birth control messed up my body and made me gain weight and stuff like that. And how I couldn't lose weight no matter how hard I tried. Now I'm actually losing weight naturally. I've actually um, lost weight naturally without changing my diet and without exercising. And now I'm going to implement those things as well. So things should go better. But I want to talk about eating disorders today. Um, as you might have seen in the trigger warning, because I just have to put a trigger warning because this is a very sensitive subject. And there's this movie that I um, watched a while ago, but I think that movie makes my point quite clearly. The movie is called Dying in Plain Sight. It's about a plus size girl who has anorexia. And for those of you thinking, oh, that doesn't make sense because anorexia is just skinny. Yeah, that, that's exactly the problem. So basically, it's this plus-size girl who starved herself when she got really, really violently ill. Um, and she almost lost her life because of that, because of the eating disorder. She also did the whole finger thing and, and the throat thing. Uh, I used to do that um, when I was in school. Um, didn't really talk about it much. But, um, didn't talk about it at all, actually. Um, yeah, very few people know that I actually suffered f with an eating disorder. Um, I was bullied a lot in school, and I got called all sorts of things. Uh, today it doesn't really bother me, I'm pretty confident with how I look. I get called ugly a lot because I don't wear makeup, and because I'm not conventionally attractive to some people, whatever. I like myself, I don't care what you guys think, I don't care what anyone else's think. I have a fiancé who loves me very much, he loves me just the way I am, I love me the way I am, and, and everything else is just, it doesn't matter, okay? So, yeah, um, that movie is quite interesting. There's a, a YouTuber that I also follow, Loie Lane, she's had the same experience, she's a bigger woman, and the most unhealthy she was in her life is when she was skinnier because she had an eating disorder. Now, a lot of the times when a plus-size person loses weight, people are like, Oh, you look so good! They're never like, how did you lose the weight? Because a lot of plus-size people do it in unhealthy ways. Which is why I'm focusing a lot now on my personal health. I'm on a little health journey. But um, that's going to take time for me to get where I want to be at, and I, my intention isn't to lose weight, I just want to be healthier. So, um, my eating disorder. I was, what, about 14-ish when I started doing that? Maybe 13. 
Yeah, I, it was before I was 14. I was 12 or 13 when I started doing it. So basically, I got bullied uh, since I started going to school, which is six years old. <laughs> Um, obviously things started getting, uh, worse when I hit puberty, because that's when my mom decided to put me on birth control pills, and my body did not react well to all that. So, I ended up gaining a whole bunch of weight really, really fast. So that was around when I was, like, nine. I started gaining weight like crazy, and, yeah, got called all sorts of names. Um, I used to give my food to the dogs. I sometimes went days without eating. Um, did the finger and throat thing a bunch of times. I also got quite ill. I was sick a lot. And it also does bad things to your body, like your hair falls out, all sorts of things. It's crazy, like, how how bad of an impact that has. And it's, it's freaking crazy. And thinking back on it, watching that movie, listening to other people's stories, I'm like, it could have been worse for me. What if I couldn't get out of it? Because it, it, there's a point where it becomes, like, a mental illness. And, like, I'm not fully over it. It's it's the thing that it takes time to heal, and you'll never fully heal it. But the thing is, it's just... It could have been worse. If I didn't stop doing what I was doing... I, you know, I actually had unaliving attempts as well, which, you know, I had a lot of issues, okay, you know, I, I have a lot of issues as a person, okay, but, um, the thing is just, eating disorders is a horrible thing, and people body shame, they don't know your story, but they shame you just by looking at you, I don't care, I'm not really affected by it much, you know, Every once and again, when I'm having an off day and someone says something, I'll be like, really, am I? And then I self-reflect and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm worthy. I'm loved. I'm beautiful. I think I'm great. I, I'm stepping into the best version of myself and I don't care who, who dislikes that, okay? You're not my people. You're not my vibe. That's just how it is. But you, the thing that bothers me is that skinny doesn't equal healthy you can be any weight and be healthy weight and health aren't connected okay they're, they're not directly connected and also genetics plays a big role in the whole thing as well and there could be like if you're a woman a little tidbit estrogen turns into fat which is a fun little fact that yeah Mm, and it goes sits in all the places you don't want it to, like your behind and your hips and your stomach and your thighs and all the places you just don't want it to be. <sighs> if you guys want me to talk more in depth about the whole eating disorder thing, I can. It's just, I don't really want to get too in detail. You know, I don't really know how much I'm actually allowed to say on the internet about that. But the thing is just... Be kind. You don't know what other people might be going through. Do research. You're not doctors, okay? You're not fitness professionals. You're not dietitians. Don't go tell people on the internet what they should do. Eat what you want to eat, what's good for your body. Your body will let you know if something's not good for you. I'm intolerant to a whole bunch of foods that I can't eat because my body just won't tolerate them. And you'll actually get like physical symptoms and things if you can't eat certain foods. Stop blaming yourself for eating. Stop counting calories and, like, being guilty. I know that's a whole other side of eating disorders as well, if you get to that point. But eat what you want to eat. Do what you want to do that's actually good for you, healthy with you, moderation. But do it without the guilt. Be kind to yourself. And be kind to others, okay? That's my message to you. But most of all, be kind to yourself. And take care of yourself. I'm going to stop ranting now. Bye, guys.